Yo, so what is up everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video. And for today's career sim, we're going to be doing someone in the league already. Ben Simmons. Now this is going to be a very interesting one. We'll be able to see if Ben actually ends up developing a three-point shot. Or honestly, what he becomes throughout his career. There's a lot of very polarizing views on Ben. A lot of people hate him. A lot of people love him. So we're going to see what happens. Giannis Antetokounmpo actually goes ahead and gets MVP in year one. Um, let's see what if Ben got on any, any of the All-NBA teams. All-NBA third team. Definitely respectable to take that guard position. And while we're at it, be sure to smack that like button and sub if you are new for your boy. We're on that big road. Hopefully 10 10K by the end of the year. Uh, we finish as the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, which is definitely solid. Um, ben is the third highest scorer on the team. 17.6 points per game, 7.9 rebounds per game to go along with uh, very good assist numbers, 8.1 a game. So, our first round matchup is up against none other but the Miami Heat. So, this is definitely going to be interesting. The Miami Heat do have Jimmy Butler, who... As we all know, left Philly last year on some kind of interesting terms, saying that he's not for everybody, and he had kind of questions about some of the players' work ethic. So we'll see if Philly can beat them or if they actually end up getting embarrassed by the heel turn that Jimmy Butler did by going to Miami. Series 3-2, and boom, the Sixers actually do pull it out 4-2. There's no doubt that Miami Heat team has a lot of grit, a lot of players who play hard. So, the Sixers did end up pulling out. Ben not having a crazy stat line, but it is okay. As we move on to the second round, up against the Magic, who also kind of have two guys that are kind of interesting as well. Former Sixer Vucevic, and obviously the big one, Markel Fultz. As we get up early, 3-1 to one on them, 3-2, to 3-3, two, three to three, and I spoke too soon as they made it a seven-game series. As Ben drops a triple-double, 20-10-10. Um, Al Horford doing his thing, and B doing his thing, can't really complain with those numbers. So moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals, we once again meet the Toronto Raptors, but this time they do not have Kawhi to hit one of the craziest shots in NBA history, as they do still beat us 4-2. to two. 28 and 10 for Embiid, Simmons dropping 21, 7 and 3. As we move on to year 5, um, as we know, we started this um, already in year 4 because Ben's been in the league a few years. Year 5, Ben has progressed from an 89 at the beginning of last year up to a 91 now. The team's pretty much the same, big 5 starters staying the same. With Matisse Thibault off the bench, along with Trey Burke, who they ironically actually cut uh right around the trade deadline so the mvp once again goes to Giannis. rookie of the year goes to lamello if you guys didn't check that career sim i'm gonna leave it up in the cards right now um all nba first team steph luca Giannis, ad and joel Embiid. uh let's check out the all second team and all third team no ben and the third team we did get a ben appearance as well as the all defensive first team finishing as the second seed in the east Behind only the Milwaukee Bucks. So that is a huge W of a season for us. As we got ourselves a first round matchup up against actually the Charlotte Hornets. Surprised to see them making the playoffs. Let's kind of take a look at their team. So they got Devontae Graham, Danny Green, Miles Bridges, PJ Washington, Enos Cantor, and Scary Terry coming off the bench as the sixth man. But I am surprised to see this team making the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they got it in them as we get up three to one and i mean it should be an easy win in all honesty but they're starting to get some games on us so i don't want to jinx it as we take them out four to two Devonte graham dropping a 29 piece in game six um our ooh, i'll check the sixer side of the stats before i hop into the next matchup but like i said Devonte graham super good game um ben Eh, okay, and Embiid's the only one that dropped over 20. Second round matchup is a classic Sixers matchup up against the Celtics. Always a good series when these two play each other, but the Sixers actually get off to a 3-0 lead and ultimately sweep the Celtics 4-2-0. As on the other side, we're going to be going up against the Brooklyn Nets, actually. Ben Simmons dropping 26, 6, and 9 with four, with four steals. Definitely super good. Eastern Conference Finals, we're up against Kyrie Irving, 
and a healthy Kevin Durant with these Brooklyn Nets. So we're going to see what we can do. Big Eastern Conference final game right here. Going to seven as the Sixers do eliminate them in game seven. Ben Simmons, 35 points and 12 rebounds. We're in the NBA championship already. So in NBA championship, we're up against the Phoenix Suns. Jelly Oubre, James Wiseman, DeAndre Ayton, and Devin Booker. Very good team. We get up 3-1 as... Wow. We actually end up blowing the 3-1 lead. And the Phoenix Suns win the championship. Devin Booker, MVP. Wow, man. That is tough. Devin Booker dropping 48 points in that game. I guess we just got to keep on pushing. Going on the year six. Hopefully this year can be a lot better for us. Because that was absolutely tragic. 92 overall Ben Simmons. 92 overall Joel Embiid. Uh, Tobias still hanging around. And Al Horford still hanging around. Josh Richardson as well. Matisse getting better and better as well. So team's still looking really solid. This is definitely still a championship caliber team. If you ask me. At least in contention for it. Giannis once again MVP. Um, Bull Bull actually getting six man of the year, so that's interesting. Sixers finished the three seed in the East. Ben up to a 94 by the end of the season. That's kind of crazy. 20 points uh, per game on the season. You can kind of see all of his accolades already. Starting to get a little bit more and more. Uh, 7.3 rebounds per game and about, what, eight assists per game, I believe that says, for Ben. So definitely a very, very good season. Um, our first round matchup is against the Cleveland Cavaliers, Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Al Horford, and Andre Drummond. So, throughout the season at some point, there was a trade in which we acquired, the Philadelphia 76ers acquired, Kevin Love, and they traded away Al. So, that's kind of crazy. Um, that definitely changes up the dynamic of the team a whole lot. But, um, we sweep them 4-0, so I guess it didn't make that big of an impact for the Cavs. Andre Drummond having a really good game, Tobias. Wow, and beat 23 points and 20 rebounds. Ben dropping 22 in that game. Uh, second round matchup up against the Nets once again with a healthy KD. They brought in LaMarcus Aldridge as well to help with that team. Definitely looking like a really, really solid team. Uh, but we're going to see what we can do. Definitely should be a tough series. It's going to be a hard fought one as we are up 3-2. to two. And we actually knock them out in 6-4-2. to two. Uh, and beat another really, really healthy game. And Ben getting his uh, getting his assist out there, 14 and 11 assists. Um, we're up against the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. Still have Giannis. So if a team has Giannis, you can't count them out. So we're going to see what can happen. As maybe we should have counted them out. 4-0 sweep, actually, on the Milwaukee Bucks. 32 and 13 for Giannis. Um, ben, once again, not having that crazy of a game. He's not He's not doing as much as you would think. Our championship matchup is against the Golden State Warriors with now Andrew Wiggins. We get up 3-1, to one and we'll hop into SimCast to see what's going on. So as you can see, we got a 10-point lead right now with about 26 seconds left. So it's definitely looking like we're going to be securing this dub. As long as nothing crazy happens, Ben goes in real quick with a nice little Euro step action. And we should just be milking out this clock when we get the ball back. And I forgot to mention, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I guess throughout the season, we have CPU trades on, so I guess they traded something to bring in Mike Conley um, I, on an expiring deal, so I'm not really sure what's good with that either, but uh, you guys want it so that the computer has complete control, and we have to try and take a three with Ben for the game as he does brick it, and we win by a 12-point margin. The Philadelphia 76ers are your NBA champions. You love to see it. Uh, ben dropping 25 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists. Great game for him. 22 from Embiid and 22 from Mike Conley. As Joel Embiid in the 6th year actually does get MVP. Moving on to year 7, we got Ben up to a 95 overall. Embiid up to a 93 overall. Tobias, Kevin Love, Josh Richardson, and Matisse all still hanging around. Like I said, Mike Conley was already out of there. Expiring deal. He's getting up there in age. I don't know. I guess they decided to not take on any more with him. So MVP once again goes to Giannis. It feels like it's been Giannis every single season so far. Not sure if that's true, but it at least feels that way. Brett Brown actually gets coach of the year. So I'm guessing that we made playoffs. So that's great. 
Um, 55 wins, it said. So, All-NBA first team, no. All-NBA second team, no. All-NBA third team, no. But we do make the all-defensive first team. Finishing as the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. Ben and Joel doing their thing. Joel, 24 points a game. Averaging a double-double. 19.2 points per game for Ben. To go along with about six rebounds. And I believe eight or nine assists a game. Um, first round matchup. We once again meet the Cavs that still do have Al Horford chilling around there. Tristan Thompson and Dennis Smith Jr. coming off their bench. It's kind of crazy to see how much the league kind of changes in just a few years. But, uh... We should have this, but we'll see. Crazier things have happened in the 2K Sims. So, we get up early on them 3-1, to one, and we ultimately knock them out 4-1 to one in only a five-game series. Let's kind of look at these stats if anything pops out. Um, Joel with a double-double. Ben, solid game, can't complain. Second round matchup, once again up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. As it's never, you can never count out Giannis, like I said earlier, as we get up 3-1 to one on them. And 4-1, to one, we actually have been kind of housing the Bucks so far in these playoffs, which is great to see. Ben dropping 27-6-7 and seven with a good amount of steals and blocks as well. Um, so our Eastern Conference Finals matchup is actually against a Pistons team. And the Detroit Pistons picked up Pascal Siakam at some point, which is a huge interesting pickup for them, as he actually leads them to beat us in six. Hey man, GG's for the Pistons. You guys have had some hard years, and it looks only like they're going to be harder ahead with that trading of DeAndre Drummond. But uh, year eight, here we go. So let's see what we can do in year eight. We got Benny Boyd at 96 and beat at a 94. Tobias still hanging around. K Love, Josh Richardson. And Matisse all still chilling on the squad. So you can kind of see the rotations. And Norvell Pell starting to get pretty decent. So I'll shout him out. I do like him in real life. Um, MVP goes to Luka Doncic. Finally someone that is not Giannis Antetokounmpo. And look at that. All NBA first team nod for Ben sitting up there with Luka and Giannis. And of course he is going to make the all defensive team. Number one seed in the Eastern Conference. 50 wins tied with both the Hawks. And the Knicks. That's kind of crazy. The Hawks and Knicks also having 50 wins. Definitely, definitely, definitely interesting. And I do really like that move that the Hawks just made to bring in Capella in real life. I think that's a really good move to kind of become more of a winning team. As Ben has a great season, almost averaging 25 points a game this season. So, wow, that's, that's something. As our first round matchup, as we are the number one seed, is up against the number eight seed, Indiana Pacers, Scary Terry, Victor Oladipo, Sabonis, and Miles Turner. So we'll see what this team can do. I do have a lot of confidence in us, so I'll, we'll see what happens. As we get up 2-1, to 2-2, to 3-2, to two. come on baby, let's take it home right here. Let's take it home right here, let's not even push it to 7. And boom, we eliminate the Indiana Pacers in 6. Victor Oladipo dropping 18 was not enough for them. As our Philadelphia 76ers are moving on to the second round. Ben dropping a 27 bomb with 8 and 8 as well. Once again, we meet up with the Nets in the second round. Pretty much the same team, but they do have Jordan Clarkson running the two. Which is definitely making it a little bit more of an interesting bucket getter. But we'll see what happens as it is 2-2. Two two. Ooh, they get up on us 3-2. We don't love to see it. We're pushing it to 7. And in 7, we do win. Joel Embiid dropping 35, Ben dropping 22, 5, and 15. Big W in the chat for that. As we are now moving on to the matchup up against the Hawks. Definitely should be a good team. They got some shooters, so we will see if they have enough firepower to take us down. They get up on us 3-1. to one. We bring it back 3-3, three to three, and they blow a 3-1 to one lead. You love to see it. As we are going to be up against the Spurs in the championship, Kevin Love actually leading us in scoring that game. Malik Monk, I don't know when we acquired Malik Monk, but I'm assuming he's coming off the bench and he must be getting us some buckets. So our finals matchup up against the Spurs, Deontay Murray, Wendell Moore Jr. Um, not that crazy of a team in all honesty. I'm kind of surprised they're in the chip from the uh, Western Conference side of this. So we'll see, 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, and in 3-2, it is a two-point game as we are hopping into this. This is going to be the real deal. They do have the ball, guys. And you wanted to see me play these. So we will see what I could do for the squad. As it is all tied up at 104 apiece with 156 
Uh, 106 left in the game. My bad. We'll see what we can do. Um, th this is definitely spooky. As I drive in with Ben, kick it out to Embiid. What is Embiid going to do with that? Get inside. Green bean, baby. That's what you'd love to see. Okay, so we got 50 seconds left on the clock. 106 to 104. Can we lock them up and secure our second NBA championship in this sim? As they get a nice little pick and, pick and roll action. Boom, big block right there. We love that defensive pressure. Kick it up the court. Benny Boy handling it. Just try and get a bucket here if we can and run out the clock. Get the ball back. Ben with a nice little easy slam. We will take that as they call a timeout 106-104. I'm not going to bore you guys with all that extra stuff. So here we are. It is ended up being a three-point game with only seconds left on the clock. He throws up a prayer. He bricks it. And just like that, your Philadelphia 76ers are a two-time NBA champion in this sim. You love to see it. Big GGs for everybody involved. Everybody's dapping each other up. His pants are glitched out. <laughs> so that's interesting. But uh, definitely interested to see what everybody's stat lines were for, were for this game. We got our boy on the floor right there. K-Love getting his championship. Getting real emotional. So uh, uh, MB dropping 23-10. and 10 And Ben having a really solid game. Ultimately getting the MVP with 21.7 points per game throughout the playoff. Alright, so year 9. Ben Simmons, 97 overall now. Embiid, chilling at a 93. And we really have a solid supporting cast on this team. They got a really good future going on. Uh, Josh Richardson is at an 85. Tobias, chilling in the high 80s. And surprisingly enough, Kevin Love is still chilling around. Um, so, All-NBA first team, though, not there. All-NBA second team, maybe. All-NBA second team, boom, right there. Aside, besides Ja Morant. Beside John Morant, Jesus, I cannot talk today, boys. But we do miss the playoffs with 43 wins, which is tragic. Embiid, 21.8 points per game. Ben dropping 20 a game. 10.4 assists a game. Nice little double-double action. As we move on to year 10, Ben, 97 overall. Embiid, 92 overall. Once again, the supporting cast is there to maybe have us go for a third time. The trifecta. That would be insane. I don't know if I if, I don't know if it's been done in a career sim yet, guys. I don't know. MVP goes to Imani Bates, and by the way, that Imani Bates career sim will be coming soon. I know you guys want that one for sure. Uh, All NBA teams. I didn't even peep honestly, but 42 wins for the Sixers this year. Last year, 43 wasn't enough to get us the eighth seed, but this year, 42 can get us in. 19.3 uh, for Ben. 9.1 assists per game, 7.3 assists per game, uh, rebounds per game as well. Our first round matchup, once again, up against the Miami Heat. As they get up on us early, 2-0, 3-0. And are they going to sweep us? I hope not, 3-1. And boom, we've been eliminated in five. That is a tough scene. Kind of want to look at those stats, see what was going on. And I wanted to point this out to you guys, for you guys. I didn't want you to have to see it all. But Bull Bull and the Charlotte Hornets win that championship that year. And Bull Bull actually ends up getting MVP. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. I just thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to show you guys all that. So here we go. On to year 11. This is what the squad's looking like. Ben, 98 overall. There's all of his accolades. There's some of his badges. Look at all them. Them goat-ass Hall of Fame badges. You'd love to see that purple. This, this kid is a baller. You can definitely see his stats right there. He, he's getting it done. Matisse now starting at the two for us. Uh, ben, All-NBA first team beside Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Amani Bates, and Chip. All-defensive first team as well, like always, because he's got the clamps out. We do make the playoffs with 44 wins. And Ben actually leading the team in scoring. You'd love to see it, 19.4 points per game. And he has a little double-double action going on. McC Ooh. Okay, so we brought in Thon Maker's cousin or brother or what is he exactly, but I forget. Um, interesting. So we definitely got a huge defensive presence going on on this team as this team, that's kind of their identity with Brett Brown. As we're up against the Magic in the first round, definitely a very solid team. And they did bounce us a long time ago in the playoffs, but we got to make sure that we don't count them out. As we get up early on them, 2-0, 3-0, and let's knock them out right here. And we will not sweep them. But can we knock them out in five? Hopefully just get them out real quick in five. That would be 
That would be great. And it's looking spooky as they're pushing it to seven. And like I said, we can't count them out. Markel Fultz dropped 33 points on our head. And we have to move into year 12 on a sorry-ass note. As in year 12, Ben is actually now up to a 99 overall. But that regression is starting to hit Embiid bad as he is now down to an only an 87. We got Matisse starting at the 2. Um, ben has, I guess he's finally hit the highest ceiling of his potential at age 31. But I would assume maybe only this year or one more year he'll stay this before he starts regressing as well. Um, Josh Richardson and Tobias still off the bench. You could definitely still get us a bucket. Anthony Edwards getting MVP. Defensive player of the year goes to James Wiseman. Let's see if we made any of the all NBA teams this year. As I do not see us really chilling. Um, definitely the all defensive team, like always at least. So did we make playoffs this year? It does not look that way to me as we actually had a terrible year. Only 27 wins. Uh, we'll just push through it and move on to year 13. Ben already down to a 98. So like I said, he's on the downward spiral. Embiid already at an 83. Josh Richardson at an 82. So our guys are starting to get on that downward swing, but we still have enough talent to currently win a chip. So we'll see what we can, what we can do here. But Embiid still has enough in the tank, and I think Ben does as well. Um, Luka actually gets MVP, and we'll see if we're on any of the all-NBA teams in this year. So we did miss playoffs, and I didn't show you guys the whole action there. That is my bad, personally. We, we missed playoffs, so I just skipped through it. <clears throat> um, so here we go. That's what This is what the squad is looking like, and... Due to, as you can see, due to technical errors, we do not have year 14's playoffs. They were exited in the first round. So this is year 15's playoffs. My bad, everything got a little scrambled up. The, the technical issues with, with the PS4 and the error codes on 2K actually is ridiculous, and I'm sick and tired of it. Need to cop a PC or something. As you can see, Ben is a 97 heading into these playoffs. Um, just had a really good season. Can't complain even in the slightest about that. Um, accolades are going crazy, all these All-NBA first teams, all these um, All-Stars, all that good stuff. As you can see, player stats, 22.4, leading the team. And our first round matchup is actually against the Atlanta Hawks. And the Atlanta Hawks will check out their team in a quick second. Um, Trey Young, uh, DeAndre Hunter, they still got a few guys hanging around from back in the day. So we'll see what we can do here. They are a very good team though, so I would not count them out. Um, two to two, three to two. They have the upper hand on us right now, but I, I have a feeling we're going to come back. Honestly, three to three, we're pushing it to seven and in seven, our big time players show up in big time games. Ben, great game for him. So love to see it. I don't know when the Hawks added Bradley Beal, but that's kind of insane. Um, wow. And we have Michael Porter Jr. coming off the bench now. Like what? It's crazy with how, like, when you have the auto um, trades and stuff on for this, because the craziest stuff happens, and it's literally, like, out of nowhere, like, mid-season they acquire it. So, the Knicks are up on us 3-2 to in the second round. We're pushing it to 7, and in 7, we do take the dub, the dub ski. So, um, Ben, 20 points. Nothing crazy went on, really, that game. So, Eastern Conference Finals, we're up against the Magic once again, who seem to be our kryptonite. They have bounced us. Two playoff series out of the two playoff series we played them. And just like that, they make it three for three as we get knocked out four to one. The Magic go on to the finals. Wow, that's tough. But uh, we're just going to have to keep on pushing through it and move on to year 16. So let's check out year 16. What's going on? Um, looking at the team, Ben, 96 overall. Um... Now we're starting to get a whole lot of different guys. I don't know if we still have people. Wow. Embiid's still hanging around at a 75 overall. This has to be his last season playing. That's crazy. Uh, Mikey Williams actually goes ahead and gets MVP with the Heat. Like to see that. If you didn't see the Mikey Edwards career sim as well, that has also been done. I have a whole playlist called career sims where we've done all the, we've done a ton of guys already, but we still got a ton more to do as the Sixers are actually dead last in the Eastern Conference this season. That is tragic. Ben, pretty solid year, but can't carry the squad too hard. Year 17, here we go. Year 17, Ben, bang. That regression's hitting him hard. He went from a 96 to a 93 this year. 
Um, and things are starting to look tough. I definitely want to see where Ben finishes all time among like steals and points and assists because he has to be up there pretty high, honestly. Chet, MVP. Um, you see James Wiseman once again gets DPOY, LaMelo Ball, and Zion, of course, on that All-NBA first team. All-NBA defensive second team for Ben now, so he's starting to get a little worse defensively as well. But we actually did make playoffs this year, which is nice. Um, Jalen Johnson leading the team as Ben is honestly pretty low on scoring. What's he, like the fifth on the fifth highest on the team? That's kind of crazy to see. Um, first round matchup up against the Hawks. Once again, Trey Young and DeAndre Hunter. Oh, and they still have John Collins coming off the bench. Like I said, I always like to kind of point out the guys that we all know that have been around and stuff. Because I just find that more interesting seeing how they're regressing, how their careers have played out, all of that stuff. So, 3-2, uh, not looking great as we're actually down. We're pushing it to 7, though, and the Hawks eliminate us in Game 7. Um, fake Richard, Richard Jefferson, Reggie Jefferson, drops a 34 bomb, and Ben didn't really do much. Year 18, Ben's still at around a 90 overall, so he's hanging in there as much as he can, honestly, but it's going to be tough. So honestly, the only like real person from back in the day that's still on the Sixers squad is Ben, 90 overall. Two years left on this contract, and honestly, you know, I, I could just see Ben retiring after this contract is over. Uh, Mikey Williams gets MVP once again, actually, with the Heat. Uh, LaMelo Ball, Bronny, Chet, all in the All-NBA first team. Uh, I doubt we're getting the nods anymore. Not even on the defensive team because pretty bad on this decline. As we finish as the number three seed coming out of the Eastern Conference. And Ben, once again, the fifth highest scorer on this team, which is definitely a sad sight to see. At now an 89 overall, I guess he's still hanging in there. He is getting up there in age. He's 37 now, but it, it just he's a shell of his former self nowadays. We got a first round matchup up against the Indiana Pacers. And with that being said, the Indiana Pacers are always a pretty solid squad. So we're just going to have to see what we can do. They get up on us 2-1, two 2-2, to 3-2, one, two two. Two, and let's knock them out here. Let's get a little playoff run going for Ben in his one of his final seasons at least. As we knock him out 4-2-2. Two, two. Um, let's see what Ben did, honestly. Did he have a good game? And Ben, pretty solid game actually. Dropping 20 piece, that's more than you can ask for a 37 year old in the playoffs. Uh, Mikey Williams and Tyler Harrow and Zion Williamson all chilling on this Miami Heat team. This is a pretty stacked team. And if I had to guess, it's going to be a really hard series for us to win. As they get up 2 to 1, we bring it back 2 2. We get a game 3 2, and it's going to 7. And in 7, we actually knock them out. Ben Simmons stepping up big time, 27, 3 and 7 with 3 steals to knock out Zion Williamson and Tyler Harrow and Mikey Williams as we're moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Boston Celtics. They get up early on us, 3-0, 3-1, 3-2, it's going to 7, and damn, we could not push it this time in 7, but it, it was a valiant effort getting to the Eastern Conference Finals like that. We're in year 19 now, Ben down to an 86 overall. Um, Mikey Williams once again gets MVP. That feels like it's like three or four years back to back for the kid as well. James Wiseman actually getting defensive player of the year. Mikey Williams, all NBA first team. LaMelo Ball in the second. Cade Cunningham on the third. We're not getting any nods anymore. It's way too late in our career. As we make playoffs, 51 wins. The second seed in the East behind only that Miami Heat team that we knocked out last year. So this is going to be a crazy... Most likely last year of Ben's career. As somehow they traded for Trey Young. That's crazy. Some, somewhere throughout the season, they traded for Trey. So I don't know if Ben's coming off the bench now or if they're playing him at the three. So I guess we'll be seeing. So he is coming off the bench as their sixth man right now. That is kind of deadly. Even though Ben's like 38 now, to have him coming off the bench is kind of crazy. Kevin Knox still hanging around with his Knicks squad. So we're going to see what we can do here. First round matchup up against the Knicks. Hopefully we can take this dub and get a little playoff run going in most likely Ben's last season. As they get up on us early, 3-1. to one, And we get a game, 3-2. to two. Come on, let's make it a series. 3-3, three, three, we're taking it to 7. And in 7, we actually take the L to the Knicks. Ben dropping 29 points, doing as much as he can. And we're looking at player retirements as Ben actually does retire at an 86 overall. 38 years old. Great career for Ben. 
cannot complain. Looking at their stats and kind of how he progressed. And then he finally hit his ceiling and he started regressing a little by little. But once again, a fantastic career for him. Six foot ten point guard out of Louisiana State University. Man, it, it, was, it was a great go. Two NBA championships, 14 All-Stars. Four first-team All-NBA appearances. 13 All-Defensive first-team appearances. That is a fantastic career. You can't really ask for much more if you ask me. Looking at the Hall of Fame inductees, this class, 2035, it was it was not only Ben Simmons, but also Carl Anthony Towns. And, of course, we got to check the accolades, the awards at the end. You guys always love this. So we're going to check out the total points and all that other good stuff that Ben probably should be in contention for. So let's see where he ranks above um, among it all. So uh, total points, let's go ahead and find Ben on this list. You see some ghosts on there, Kobe, RIP Kobe. As you all know, Kobe is an amazing player, and it is a real shame what happened. But as you see, Ben chilling at number 30, so you can't complain. Ben, I wouldn't say his greatest thing was always scoring. So being number 30 overall all time is definitely really good. I'm not sure if he'll be kind of around that range in rebounds or not. He's obviously a great rebounding big man, but that's probably not what he specialized in. So we, I'm just going to not even look for him on the rebounds. Go right over to assists because we know Ben's going to be a top dog when it comes to those rebounds. I mean, those, those assists. As he is number two behind only the one and only John Stockton. John Morant just trailing him and LaMelo Ball trailing him. That's a great list of guys right there. And I definitely want to check steals as Ben's ranking fourth all time among only John's behind John Stockton, CP3, and one other person. And let's check triple doubles because I feel like that's something Ben got, got a lot of. As let's see where he ranked all time. Seven only behind LeBron. Peace.